Hanukkah Bear by Eric A. Kimmel, illustrated by Mike Wanoutka. Old Bear awoke from his winter sleep. He poked his nose outside his den. What was that? Mmm, something to eat. Old Bear's empty stomach rumbled. He shook himself all over, then lumbered out of his den to follow the delicious smell. Bubba Brina took the last potato latke from the pan and put it in the oven with the others. Bubba Brina was 97 years old and did not hear or see as well as she used to, but she still made the best potato latkes in the village. Every year at Hanukkah time, all her friends came to her house on the edge of the forest. How they loved those latkes. Bubba Brina always made plenty, but tonight she made twice as many as usual. Tonight was special. Tonight, the rabbi was coming. Bubba Brina hurried to get ready. Just then, she heard a thump at the door. She opened it. Rabbi, you're here early. How nice to see you. <coughs> growled Old Bear. Happy Hanukkah to you too. Please come in. Old Bear walked into the house. I'll take your coat, Rabbi. My, how thick it is. Bubba Brenna tugged at Old Bear's fur. Old Bear roared. <coughs> Oh, you want to keep your coat on? Well, that's all right. It is chilly in here. Old Bear's nose twitched. <clears throat> Thank you, Rabbi. How kind of you to say that. The latkes will taste even better than they smell. Old Bear followed his nose to the oven. <clears throat> Rabbi, I'm surprised at you. You know we don't eat until we light the menorah. <clears throat> That's right. I know you are teasing. I'll light the candles. Will you say the blessings? <laughs> Bubba Brina struck a match and lit the shamus candles. Then she lit the one for the first night. Old Bear muttered and growled. <laughs> Who has kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Oh, Rabbi, you say the blessings so beautifully. Bubba Brena sat down at the table. Old Bear sat down beside her. Let's play dreidel. We'll use these nuts. Old Bear cracked one with his teeth. Rabbi, you won't have any nuts for the game if you eat them. <coughs> Growled Old Bear. Don't worry, I have plenty of nuts if you need more. Bubba Brena spun the dreidel. It stopped on the letter Gimel. I win! Bubba Brina swept the nuts into her apron. <laughs> Old Bear roared. Don't be angry, Rabbi. It's only a game. She tossed him a nut. Old Bear begged for more. No, Rabbi. No more nuts. It's time for dinner. Bubba Brina opened the oven door and took out a platter piled high with steaming potato latkes. Old Bear sniffed the latkes as she set them on the table. Do you prefer sour cream or jam? Bubba Brena asked. Rawr. Old Bear growled. Jam, I thought so. Bubba Brena smeared five big latkes with jam and stacked them on Old Bear's plate. Old Bear gobbled them down. Bubba Brena laughed. You should use a fork. You have jam all over your beard. She wet a towel and wiped Old Bear's face. I must tell you, Rabbi, you eat like a bear. <coughs> I'm hungry like a bear, so I eat like one. I can see that, Bubba Brana said. Old Bear ate and ate until the latkes were gone. He felt drowsy. His head flopped on Bubba Brana's lap. Rabbi, you're sleepy. Who wouldn't be so sleepy after such a meal? All the latkes are gone. It's time to go home. But before you leave, I have a Hanukkah present for you. Bubba Brina took a red scarf from her knitting basket. She wrapped it around Old Bear's neck. I made it myself. <sighs> Old Bear licked Bubba Brina's face. Bubba Brina blushed. Oh, Rabbi, at my age. Old Bear shuffled to the door. <clears throat> he growled as he walked off into the night. Good night to you too, Rabbi. Happy Hanukkah!
Bubba Brenna was washing dishes when she heard another knock. I wonder who that is. Shalom, Bubba Brenna. All her friends stood at the door, wishing her a happy Hanukkah. Shalom, everybody, Bubba Brenna said. How nice to see you. I'm sorry I don't have any more latkes. The rabbi came by. He ate them all. Bubba Brenna, don't you recognize me? It was the rabbi. The rabbi couldn't have eaten your latkes, everyone said. He's been with us in the synagogue. Bubba Brenna rubbed her forehead. Something strange is happening, rabbi. I think there's an imposter going around. He looks like you. He talks like you. He even has your beard. Just then, the children cried, Look at the floor! Bear tracks! A bear? And I thought it was the rabbi. Bubba Brenna had to sit down. She soon began to giggle. That was a very clever bear, or a very foolish Bubba Brenna. Oh well, let the bear have a happy Hanukkah. I had a happy Hanukkah too. And so will you, dear friends. Bring some potatoes from the cellar, fetch my grater and bowl. Everyone has to help. You too, Rabbi. If we all work together, we'll soon have latkes for everyone. Deep in the forest, Old Bear slumbered in his den. His stomach was full of potato latkes. The warm woolen scarf was wrapped snugly around his neck. Pleasant dreams, Old Bear, and happy Hanukkah. Latkes. Two cups peeled and grated potatoes. One grated onion. Three eggs beaten. Two tablespoons matzo meal or all-purpose flour. One and a half teaspoon salt. One half cup canola or vegetable oil for frying. Directions. One, place the potatoes in a cheesecloth and ring, extracting as much moisture as possible. Two, in a medium bowl, stir the potatoes, onion, eggs, flour, and salt together. Three, in a large heavy bottom skillet over medium high heat, heat the oil until hot. Place large spoonfuls of the potato mixture into the hot oil, pressing down on them with a spatula to form a quarter to half inch thick patties. Brown on one side, turn and brown on the other. Let drain on paper towels, serve hot with applesauce or sour cream. Author's Note Hanukkah is the Jewish festival of lights. The holiday commemorates a victory over the Greek army in 145 BCE, when the temple in Jerusalem was restored to Jewish worship. According to tradition, there was only enough sanctified oil to light the temple menorah for one day. The oil miraculously burned for eight days, long enough for more oil to be brought to Jerusalem. Since then, oil and light have been part of celebrating Hanukkah. The nine-branched Hanukkah lamp, the menorah, or Hanukkah, is lit each night beginning with one candle and ending with eight. A servant candle, the shamus, is used to light the others. Foods cooked in oil are part of the Hanukkah celebration. Latkes, potato pancakes, and sifganyat, jelly donuts, are traditional Hanukkah dishes. Hanukkah games are played with a four-sided top called the dreidel, or sivyvon. The four letters on the sides are the first letters of the Hebrew words nes gadol hayasham. The words mean a great miracle happened there.